everyone. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, currently in a hotel room because the heating has packed up in my house. So my dear lady wife uh, came to the rescue and got to sort us out with a room. Um, so it's New Year. And I thought I'd give you till the afternoon before we hear my voice drone on. But uh, a little bit of advice as we move on. Um, we spoke to about this in the Therapy Thursday about uh, not glossing over um, previous resolutions and things that you wanted to get done. Time time is just a kind of why, why wait a year? Why is 12 months important? If you've still got things you need to do, then just keep doing it. You, you know, you're making progress. And this is the key thing. Um, so really, we want to keep making progress rather than having to start from scratch again. Uh, and go from there. So while you're milling over today, in the next coming days, I know it's sort of like almost middle of the week, but things that will probably help you uh, get to where you need to be. Start trying to do something constructive every day. It doesn't have to be anything big. It can be something as small as just writing down what you want to achieve on day one, which is today. So you may have a goal and idea, you might have a plan. Um, Things that you can do today to make tomorrow easier. These things don't have to be massive. Remember what we said before, 1% change is so much easier than trying to change that by 10%. So each day, make it your little mission that by the end of the day, you've done something constructive to help you towards your goal. Uh, we'll use a weight loss, um, fitness, strength, whatever plan, gym-wise, shall we say, uh, to start with. So if you make it your goal that you've got to drink two liters of water a day, that is a very small change you can make that will allow you to progress forward uh, in your day to day. Um, for myself, uh, the way I made this work, I got inspiration from my auntie and her husband when I was in America, that each day I would either make a new video, I may not post it that day, but I'd make a new video. I might uh, talk to somebody or try and impact somebody positively on the gym floor. And through doing that, slowly but surely, business has um, accelerated for me, which is fantastic. But it wasn't a big change. These things don't have to be massive to make a decent difference. Um, also, uh, some little uh, pointers that I've been telling my clients recently that going into this year you may have some trepidations about the things that you failed on last time or I shouldn't say failed you just haven't achieved yet because remember we're not talking about time anymore constructs don't have to apply anymore year on year get things done at the speed that they will get done and you'll still finish them don't put the pressure on yourself uh, of a year to all of a sudden make things happen so my little bit of advice to you is this uh, you may have heard of the term the glass half empty and the glass half full, um, be it pessimism and optimism. So the way I see it is this. If you have a glass that is half empty, you must have taken something out of it. So look on that and find out whether it was good or bad and decide what you're going to continue to take out of your glass in the future. Obviously, you want to be more positive than negative. If you have a glass that is half full, then, well, you're still filling it up. So you've got time. The glass hasn't overflowed yet, you haven't reached the pinnacle of what you intend to achieve yet. Okay, so you see what I mean by this time constraint is that if your glass is half empty, it means you've taken some things out of it, so there's obviously something to learn from. Some things that can help you move forward and help you stop making the same mistakes again, or if you're still pers um, you know, pushing through, you've still got more to drink. If your glass is half full, keep filling it up, keep going. Just make sure that you're filling it up with stuff you want it to be filled with rather than rubbish that might take over and cause it to overspill. And the most important one is, for most of us, we should all just be thankful that we have a glass in the first place, be it half full or half empty. At least we have a vessel in which to contain whichever or. If you can think of things like that, it will probably help you move forward. Um, as you could probably have guessed, I've started my cognitive behavioral therapy and counseling uh, coursework today, so I thought I'd pass on a few uh, behavioral things that we can use in the future. Um, there's nothing wrong with things going awry and things taking longer than they should. Life happens, okay? Things are very seldom linear. They don't usually move in a nice straight path. They go up and they go down. Case in point, just before, um, just after Christmas, my workouts went badly. Uh, couldn't make the progress I wanted to. So I, you know, didn't walk away. I just did the clever thing and let my head and body get back in the game. I'm taking time to do a bit more stretching, uh, making sure I'm a bit more limber in times of inactivity. And I can come back stronger and continue to fill my cup. So I took a little something out. I'm going to put a little something back in. Okay, so keep these tips in mind. I hope that this year... Um, see as you continue on all the good things that you've done so far, okay? And I will be here to help all of you um, in any way I can. So in this new year, I would like to put out the offer that if you are one of my clients, obviously we'll sit down and we will have a chat about where we want to go with things. If you're not and you just want to sit down with somebody that might have a little bit more understanding and knowledge that you do, please feel free to contact me. We can sit down in the gym 
and we can devise a plan or just figure out a few things that you can tweak here and there just to get the ball rolling for you. Have a wonderful new year, everybody. I will try and be here as much as I can for every one of you in whatever capacity I can be, and we're going to make some good stuff happen. See you soon.